Now to that incredible launch from SpaceX this morning, the company launching its most powerful rocket, Starship, this morning. The rocket was supposed to go on a little bit of a longer trip, but it lost engine power midway through. SpaceX hopes to one day use Starship to carry people to the moon and eventually Mars. News 6's James Sparvero has the story. The rise of Starship. Its first flight integrated with its super heavy booster, Starship doubles the power of history's most iconic rockets. We're flying at twice the thrust of the Saturn V heading to space. That excitement lasting four minutes until Starship goes out with a bang. SpaceX promised excitement on this launch, and they definitely delivered that. CBS space consultant Bill Harwood reports about a half dozen of the 33 engines on the first stage shut down during flight. He also notes the exhaust plume no longer appearing symmetrical, leading up to Starship and Super Heavy failing to separate and blowing up. We don't know how long it's going to take SpaceX to recover from this, but they collected an enormous amount of data, no question about that. Elon Musk says they should be ready to try again in a couple of months. While Elon Musk is betting the house that Starship can achieve his dream of making life multiplanetary, NASA needs Starship to work too. Starship is supposed to be NASA's lunar lander for the Artemis III mission. Musk has said Kennedy Space Center will be home base for future Starship missions. Over the last year, a 450-foot launch tower for Starship was built next to the historic launch tower at Pad 39A. So there's quite a bit on SpaceX's plate to perfect this rocket, to perfect the technology NASA's counting on and paying billions of dollars for. The FAA reports no one was hurt and no property was damaged by the explosion. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6. I'm just stunned at all the uses they could get out of this. Yes. Could go to Mars, could go to Paris. And I know. was just saying today, to the untrained eye, some would consider that a failure. <laughs> or to the trained eye. <laughs> no, no, they got a lot of rich data from that that they're analyzing right now. Rich data, that's what we'll say. <laughs> and you can rewatch this morning's launch again from the homepage of ClickOrlando.com. There were a lot of successes. You're an built untrained in there. eye. Yes, an untrained <laughs> eye right here. Don't forget to subscribe to our Covering the Space Coast and Beyond newsletter. To get the big space stories, it'll be sent straight to your inbox. To subscribe, just go to clickorlando.com slash newsletters.